Hello. Welcome back to another episode of McPherson Country. Today, I have a special guest with me. Hachiko McPherson, my son. He's going to be turning 10 years old this year. August 21st, 2022. So, as you can see behind me, that's gorgeous scenery we have here today. We're on none other than the Deep River. That's right, folks. The Deep River Trail down here in beautiful downtown Randall area, North Carolina. Also known as Randleman. So, the reason we are here today is to discuss none other than the one and the only Naomi Wise tragedy of a murder. But first, before we discuss the, it's the terrible tragedy that occurred on this very beautiful river in gorgeous Randolph County, we have to first dive into the history of who we're talking about. Naomi Wise was an 18-year-old young lady said to be very attractive. She was an orphan to the Adams family, William Adams to be exact, and which is now known New Salem. So, she was working on her family's ranch, pretty much the only family she's ever had was her family. And she was out at the Adams Spring getting some water, and up on a whole high horse comes Mr. Jonathan Lewis. Now, the, John, the Lewis family was known to be rather tall, rather handsome, much like himself, but I me, mean, I'm not mucho crazy. It was said that she was so in awe by his charm and his figure, and she felt like she could tame him, knowing that she knew the fame of his family. She still found herself in deep love with Mr. Jonathan Lewis. So it was out here amongst the Randolph County Hills that she first fell in love with Jonathan Lewis. But this was not her first love for she had two children, Nancy and Henry. They were both fairly young whenever their mother passed. She was also pregnant when she died, which is another part. Jonathan Lewis found himself father, him and Naomi's baby. After courting around the area, and the family didn't approve. So, in turn, Mr. Jonathan did the unthinkable. The ballad suggests that he rode her all up and down here in the in the dark of the night. Some say it's morning, some say it's night. Stories differ from who tells the story, from the story. So it depends on what you read and what you research. But from what my research concludes and what I personally believe, she was picked up by Mr. Jonathan Lewis on a horse. He said, get on, jump on the horse, come with me. We're gonna get married. We're gonna be happy and, and we're gonna live away and nobody's gonna tell us any different no matter what our parents say. And so, like any normal young woman would do to a charming, striking, handsome young man like Mr. Lewis, she obliged. She jumped on the back of his steed and rode right to this river. It is not yet, it's not really known where she was murdered. Some speculate it's at this one, some speculate it's the one down there, but regardless, she was washed up. Some say it was she was washed up on rocks. Some say she was washed up in reeds. But 215-year-old story is bound to have some differences, just like any normal tale or legend would. So, she was murdered right here on this river. Mr. Lewis was crossing the river, and he threw her off and jumped off the horse. She was wailing and screaming pleading, please don't kill my, our children, please. And Mr. Lewis proceeded to kill her. He drowned her and threw her body in this river for the next few days for some little fishermen to find her in some reeds on this river bank. They drew their net and they cast out to her, reeling her in, seeing her covered in mud. put her on a plank, and they sent for John Lewis. 
who knew. Everyone knew who he was and what he was doing and his intentions. He was put on trial, found guilty, but then escaped. Went on the run for a few years, ought to be come right back to Randolph County Jail and not tried for the murder of Naomi Wise in 1807, but his escape and evasion from law. Mr. Lewis would later go on to, on his deathbed, admit to the murder of Naomi Wise on this very night. So, with all that being said, here is the beautiful river in downtown Randall. 215 years later, we're standing here. The legend goes, you can see Naomi Wise floating over the river. It's a legend. It's even documented in the newspaper, local newspaper actually. We found it under the Courier Tribune. Cool, interesting side note there. So, I hope this was some fun experience. Come out and, and walk this beautiful trail in beautiful downtown Randleman. It's an amazing trail. I love to walk it, and it's an awesome sight to get to see these beautiful rocks all throughout this beautiful river and get to walk this nice trail. It has been an honor to talk to you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We would be glad to have you here on McPherson Country. Just wait. We've got plenty more on the way. We will see you in the next video. Catch you on the flip side.